Later. Boozer's holding up. I guess I should uh, go check on him. Hope he's awake. You can say, John, this is Lost Lake. Come in. Yeah, Mike, this is Deak. I brought in Shane Riley, but when I went to the shack to question him, he wasn't there. Uh, yeah, uh, about that, Mike. I tried to bring him in. I really did. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, about that, Mike. I tried to bring him in. I really did, but he, uh, well, put up a hell of a fight. So he didn't leave you much choice, Mike. He didn't. Uh, remember what I said about how we do things around here? Yeah, yeah, Mike, I remember. Lost Lake out. Deke, you gotta hurry. Ricky, what's going on? That guy we've been looking for, Eric Lynch, who, who murdered Camel and Reed at the... Brian, I'm at one of your beacons, the one outside of Rogue Camp. Drifter, uh, uh, St. John, I mean, uh, copy that. Why am I here? I show, uh, Hilo incoming to that location now. Be ready. O'Brien out. Uh, psh, that's why I'm here. St. John, they should have arrived at your location. Do you see them? Yeah, yeah, kind of hard to miss. What do you need me to do? Get close to the researcher. Remember, you have to stay in their proximity or I can't intercept their data. Okay, yeah, I get Let it. Let me know when the LC is locked down. And this All time, I need you to plant one of those trips. Okay, I gotta place a tracker on that job. Let me know when it's clear. Come Sound on, guys. Just gotta clear around here. Lock down. Let them see me. Uh, yep, clear. So what the hell are you boys doing here, huh? Yeah. All right, stop down. And fill up at the old Ultra gas station. In case you didn't see it, sign says gas low. But no, I'm guessing you guys don't got that problem, do you? Got it. O'Brien, the tracker's set. We should be getting to You're always copy that. Hold. Yes, we're reading it loud and clear. O'Brien out. Yeah, you're welcome, O'Brien. Those at Marion Forks, the Pioneer Cemetery, the Cascade Highway Lumber Site, the truck stop on the old Belknap Road. What, what was that called again? Oh, Crazy Willies. Yes, very rustic and touristy. Some things about the old world I don't miss. A Crazy Willies, south of the Belknap Crater. I got a question, Doc. Sure, it's not like I'm busy or anything. The nests. Why do they build them? We don't know. Why do they only build them in, you know, building structures, cabins, things like that? We have a theory that... Yeah, I don't want any trouble.
taking forever. The survey of 24 Jeez. nesting sites, okay. including those at Marion Forks, the Pioneer Cemetery, the Cascade Highway Lumber Site, the truck stop on the old Belknap Road. What, what was that called again? Our oh, Crazy Willies. Yes, very rustic and touristy. Some things about the old world I don't miss. The Crazy Willies, south of the Belknap Crater. I got a question, Doc. Sure, it's not like I'm busy or anything. The nests. Why do they build them? We don't know. Why do they only build them in? Buildings, structures, cabins, things like that. We have a theory that... I mean, we never see them where wild animals would build them. In trees or out in the wilderness, only houses. Okay, you finished? I'm sorry. The guys might be allowed have a theory. I'm sure when they're... Civilian, I am not going we to ask you again. Now, can't we? Site, the truck stop on the old Belknap Road. What, what was that called again? Ah, uh, Crazy Willies. Yes, very rustic and touristy. Some things about the old world I don't miss. A Crazy Willies, south of the Belknap Crater. I got a question, Doc. Sure, it's not like I'm busy or anything. The nests. Why do they build them? We don't know. Why do they only build them in, you know, buildings, structures, cabins, things like that? We have a theory that. I mean, we never see them where wild animals would build them. In trees or out in the wilderness, only houses. You finished? Sorry. The guys back at the lab have a theory. I'm sure when they're ready to talk about it, they'll come rushing down to the barracks to let you know. Jesus. I'm just asking. I see things too, you know. It wasn't always a grunt, you know. Can I continue? Sure. South of Belknap Crater. Some areas of the Belknap Wilderness were not surveyed due to the proximity of nesting sites to human encampments. In particular, a large camp at... Salome Hot Springs. Oh, yes. <laughs> Salome. On Herod's birthday, she danced before them, whereupon he promised with an oath to give her whatsoever she would ask. She said, give me the head of John the Baptist, and the king was struck sad. Quite the name for a resort. Oh, shit. Some things about the old world I don't miss. Upload complete. Yeah. The Bible? Now they're reciting Bible verses. That must be nice. Flying all over hell and gone and finding time to read. Jesus O'Brien. Done. Okay, now I just gotta get the hell out of here before one of them spots me. O'Brien. O'Brien, are you there? I can't talk right now. I'll be on this channel later. Out. O'Brien? Oh, God damn it. I'm getting tired of being your errand boy, O'Brien. Deke, you gotta hurry. Ricky, what's going on? we've been looking for, Eric Lynch. Murdered Camel and Reed. At the farm? You know where he is? Yes, uh, yeah. He's on the north shore at the old boat launch. Skizzle wanted to go after him, but Iron Mike said to get you. I'll get him. Thanks, Steve. Hurry. Coming. 
Okay, I'll be by. St. John out. Deke, this is Tucker. Stop by. I've got work for you. Tuck, hey. Okay, I'll see if I can make time. Deacon out. My first one. you, but, uh, I could use a hand. Uh, <laughs> you lay down. Thanks, ma'am. You can't have visitors uh, just yet, but, uh, I could really use a hand. Okay, I'll see you later. I'll be here. Hey, Doc, Doc, seriously, though, um, will I be able to play piano after all this is over? Very funny, William. Lay down. <laughs> okay. I can play chopsticks. No, seriously, I could. I'd be like... <laughs> As you can see, he's gonna be just fine. His fever's completely gone. Good, that's good. All right, well, I gotta go take care Deacon, of some shit. like I said before, William really does owe you his life. Boozer doesn't owe me shit. I owe him. Hey, I saved two more. Eddie and Mia would have died without those antibiotics. I just thought you should know. Seems like he's uh, getting better. Hey, hey, I saw Boozer the other day, your friend, right? Man, that's pretty messed up what happened to him. Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, hello. Hey, Blair. Um, okay. Now that's an upgrade. Okay. Hey, see ya. So, a uh, couple months ago, we were up by Crazy Willie's, just scavenging, you know. I thought maybe the place wasn't picked over. That's all I got today. Hey, man. Just looking around. All right, I got you. Mike's looking pretty busted. Mm. 
Okay. See you around. Yeah, I'm here. I'm, uh, I guess you uh, got another job for me. Okay, I'll swing by. Deacon out. Deke, we need him alive. Alive? Oh, come on. No, why? Before he ran, he stole two bags of seed. Deke, we need those seeds. Ah, shit. We need to know where he sold them or stashed them. You're making my day a lot more complicated. Okay, fine. I'll chase him down. Deacon out. There you are. Oh shit, there he is! Commitments, man! Come on! Oh no, you're not gonna get away. Fuck you, man! How's it going, Lynch man? What, is the camp not feeding you well enough? Fuck you! I thought you just killed a couple guys right off with our shit. Don't matter if a bunch of folks here die of starvation because you got what you need, right? <coughs> Get off of me, you son of a bitch! Hey, 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 listen to me. Rick is gonna send some men for you. You tell them where you stash the seeds, maybe they'll just shoot you, you know, instead of hanging you slow. What do you think about that? I don't know what the hell you're talking about! Okay, man, suit yourself. Hey, Ricky, I got him, and I'll uh, send you his position. Send someone out here to pick him up. Does he have the seeds on his bike? No, no, I didn't see him. All right, we'll bring him in. Lost like out. See you, Lynch man. Here to check out my shit? You go through a lot of this shit, yeah? Sure. All right. Later. Hey, I got a job for you. You got a job for me? Yeah. There's a bunch of dead freaks. The west of the footbridge stuck in the muck. I need someone to pull them out and take them to the burn pile. Got it? Marsh duty. Yeah. Get someone else. I'm busy. Hey, I'm getting you to do it. I don't know what Mike told you on your little field trip, but we got work to do. Here. Hey, 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 hey. Schizo. He can't come with you. He's coming with me. Last I checked, I wasn't talking to you. Well, I checked in with Mike. I gotta go into the shit, and he's coming with me. All right? Like I said, I'm busy. And when you get back, you come find me. You coming? Where? Doesn't matter. Seriously, where are we headed? North. Ricky, I don't have time for your crap any more than schizos. Come on, I'll show you. Mike told me what you did. I didn't do anything. About how if we seal the caves here, we can stop the hordes? Never said it would stop them. Maybe slow them down. <laughs> Look, are you going somewhere with this? Yeah. I just thought that maybe you decided to stay. I mean, not just because of Boozer, but because you wanted to help. Is that what you thought? 
Hey, back in the day, I did my share of runs. You did, but never anything more than that, and you know it. So now you're helping Iron Mike seal the caves? What did you want me to think? A few weeks back, we lost a man when this went down, shutting down the infirmary's respirator. Respirator? Oh, God, Ricky, look around. If you're on a respirator out here, you're already dead. What if it had been Boozer? Yeah, that's what I thought. See, we haven't had power for almost two years, but the transformers and the lines, they all check out. Well, at least they do here. I want to ride up north, check out the hydro dam, just to see why it shut down. Oh, no, riding escort, that's Schizo's job. I don't need an escort. You lived up there, you know the area better than anyone. Deacon, you asked for my help, right? Now I'm asking for yours. Shit. Okay, good. I'm gonna go grab some of the guys nope. that can wreck. No, you're not. Now we're going in quiet. If we're running to Copeland's men, I can handle them, but that wilderness up there is crawling with rippers and scumbags and God knows what else. More men, you know what that means? That means more attention. No, uh-uh, no, we're doing this my way. Shit. Fine, okay, let's go. Look, Ricky, uh, I gotta ask you. The other night, uh, in the infirmary. Would I have shot you in the face? No. Really? Oh. From the look in your face, you... I would have taken you outside first and then shot you in the face. <laughs> okay, so you wouldn't, you know, want to get blood all over the infirmary. Uh-huh, exactly. If we get an early start, we can get back before dark. As long as nothing goes wrong. <laughs> well, what can go wrong? Following you? Just follow the route that I marked on your map. There's some marauder camps up there we want to stay away from. Yeah, got it. So how did you end up out here? I never asked you. Same as everyone, I guess. When shit went down, I was 100 miles from home. By the time I got back, everyone was gone. Where are you from? I grew up in a little town outside of Portland. Would work in the city, couch surf, go home on weekends. Big city. Yeah, right. Only in Oregon. What was it like over there? I mean, how did you, uh, how did you get out? I don't know. Luck, I guess. The roads were backed up all the way down the coast. One giant parking lot. Willamette Valley was a war zone. Everything happened so fast. I, I, I told my friends to get out when I left. I don't think they listened to me. I, uh, I heard they nuked it. Portland? Yeah, I, I heard that too. Don't think it's true. We'd be feeling the fallout, right? Yeah. So, uh, you and Addy. You got a problem? Me? No. Come on. I just, I didn't know. You rode with us a long time. I guess it, uh, I guess it never came up. I was like you. Seemed like, uh, I don't know, keeping your distance was just a good way to stay alive. Uh, okay, look, I shouldn't have asked. None of my business. That's why I'm at the camp. You know, chance to live a normal life again. Good luck with that. There's nothing serious. Me and Addie? Didn't look that way to me. Yeah, well, things happen fast these days. You know what I mean? Didn't ask. I wanted to tell you something. Shoot. I, uh, look, I appreciate you going to bat for me. Uh, for me and Boozer. With Iron Mike, I mean. Wow, you are getting soft. Fuck off. You've never thanked me for anything. Yeah, well, maybe I never had any reason to. Okay. So where'd you and Iron Mike go the other day? Wait, you said that he already told you about it. He was pretty tight-lipped. I've known Iron Mike a long time. To be honest, I, I don't think I've ever seen him so, I don't know, depressed. Where'd you go? Uh, Sherman's camp. I heard that place was a freak show. It is, but we didn't have much of a choice. I, uh, I had an idea about sealing the caves, keep the hordes from coming through. He knew where the mining claims office was. We picked up some maps. He's going to track down some explosives. Your radio must be broken. 
Almost sounded like you volunteered for some shit. I'm riding with you now, aren't I? Jesus. You just wanted out of marsh duty. Okay, you got me. So what happened? Something happened. Nothing, Ricky. Nothing happened. You didn't say anything? Just, no. No. Nothing happened. And no, I and Mike didn't say anything. Like you said, he's a pretty tight-lipped guy. All right, dam's coming up. Take it slow near the gate. No idea who or what might be living there. Got it. Oh, well, looks clear. Are you expecting trouble? Yeah, always. And if we run into any, we're gone. All right, come on. I want to check the outflow. Where are you going? Down here. No, 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 no. Hey, this isn't right. There should be more water flowing out right there. Yeah? Yeah, and you hear that? What? what? Exactly. If the turbines were running, you'd be able to hear the hum of the lines from here. Mm. Oh. What happened there? What? Oh. Same thing that happened to all the bridges. Smart men in uniforms decided blowing them up would keep the hordes from coming in. Mm. Hordes of refugees or hordes of freaks? Oh, you figure men like Copeland? Probably both. Hmm. All right, come on, I want to check something out. Come here, touch this. What? Come on. Okay. You... Hmm. you feel anything? No. Exactly. If more water was flowing, the turbines would be vibrating. Come on. Up this way. We're going all the way up to the top, up there. Following you. See these pipes? They're called the penstock. Water pressure builds up from the reservoir and is pushed down through those pipes, concentrating the force of the flow, which goes right through to the turbines. How the hell do you know all this stuff? I had two older brothers who were always fixing cars and shit with my dad. He got me a job at Boeing when I was only 17. I was going to school part-time to become a mechanical engineer when shit went down. Did you ever see him again? Your dad, brothers? No. Come on, over here. All right, let's figure this out. <clears throat> well, this is gonna be fun. So now wait, oh, oh. wait, what's, go what's going on? What are you doing? We only rode together a few months, but in all that time, I never saw you volunteer for anything. One of us has to jump down there and clear the intake. So, I'm up. <clears throat> oh, but you can stand and watch. Okay. Oh, it's now or never. Let's go. Yeah, it's, it's pretty mucked up. I think I can clear it, though. Run back down to the turbine. See if it's vibrating at all. 
Feel that vibration? Yeah, but the power lines are still dead. What? Man, oh, it couldn't be that easy, right? All right, come on, let's check out the transformers. So, uh, y your dad and your brothers, what happened to them? I don't know. On my way back, I tried calling over and over. I always got a busy signal. By the time I reached the house, it was deserted. The entire neighborhood was deserted. There were flyers everywhere, evacuation orders. I went to the closest refugee camp, but it was overrun. Everyone was dead. Freaks were everywhere. Jesus, Ricky, I'm, I'm real sorry. Yeah, it was a long time ago. But these are the ones feeding the lines going south. All right, any idea what's wrong with them? No, not a clue. Okay. Well, it might be a short in the turbine junction boxes, so let's just go down and check it out. Okay? All right. So, uh, what's with you and Schizo? I mean, it seems like you're always on the verge of ripping his throat out. A few months back, Eddie and I caught him hiding outside our cabin while we were bathing. What? He's a peeping Tom. I told him if it happened again, he'd find out that my gun is bigger than his. Jesus. You know, if Addie was there, Schizo probably wasn't looking at you. It was all I could do to stop her from neutering the bastard. Ouch. Right? Never piss off a woman who knows how to use this cap. Here, boost me up. Okay. okay, got it. There. Here, I got the gate. Come on, junction room's right around here. Oh, God, what is that smell? Freaker nest. And the smell of it more than a couple. Stay close. Molotovs you got with you. Enough. Okay. Remember the drill. You light them up, I knock them down. It's been a while, but I remember. Burn it down. You ready? like visitors much, do they? Well, can you blame them? Whew. Well, they better get used to this shit. You know what? As of today, I'm claiming this for Lost Lake Camp. Part of the people. <laughs> All right, let's check the junction boxes and get the hell out of here. This is it. You ready? Yep. Okay. Damn. <laughs> yes! Houston, we have power. Nice work. 
I couldn't have done it without you. Come on, let's find something to block the door and I don't want to have to come back up here every month to clean this shit out. Wait, wait, wait. You're going to be here in a month? What? No, I, I don't know. Would you just... <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, Deep. Come on. So, why'd you ask about my dad and my brothers? Uh, I don't know. You just, um, you never mentioned him before, so, um, you know, I'm sorry if I... If it's uh, something you didn't want to talk about. No, it's fine. It reminded me of something I wanted to ask you. Back when we were riding together. Okay, Ricky. Ricky, not now. You can ask me later. Come on, we gotta get moving. Hey, you never asked uh, why I stopped riding with you and Boozer. Was I supposed to ask? I already knew why. Iron Mike's bullshit. God, Ricky, do we gotta do this now? We had been riding together for, I, I don't remember, a couple months. <laughs> Deacon, come on. Okay. Okay. There was this one night, and I remember it really clearly. It was snowing outside, and Boozer was snoring. Remember how he used to snore? I swear, I thought <laughs> he was going to bring a horde down on us, yeah, right? Well, pretty much hasn't changed. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> you thought everyone was asleep, and you were sitting outside by yourself like you always did, and you were staring at something. You didn't sleep the whole night. Let me see the photo, Deke. Come on, please. This is when I knew. What'd you know, Ricky? That I didn't want to end up like so many of us here. We're trapped in the past or running from it. I, I just, I want to look forward. Okay, not back. This isn't what you think it is, okay? Get low! Get on the back! Find them! Are you sure it's them? I saw the mark on his back! We're from Lost Lake Cab! Iron Mike has a treaty! Well, that was a really good idea. You wanna try that again? Far north, aren't you? Huh? You don't want to get too far away from Carlos, do you?
we just leave you here to bleed out, huh? Make all the freaks out here happy, yeah? Huh? Isn't that what you want? I think that's the last of them. I see no one before the map like that. What the hell are they amped up on? No idea. Back in the day, dealt with a few tweakers who acted like that. I think they're on PCP or whatever that other shit is. Oh, uh, bath salts. Remember? That was becoming a thing before everything went down. Right, yeah. Come on, let's see if they messed up our bikes. Mike's treaty with these bastards is gonna hold? I don't know. Fucking rippers after what they did to Boozer's arm. After what they did to Dick! Lisa? What? This was clutched in one of their hands. What happened? Did you guys have a run-in, you and Boozer, with, with the rippers before you stole the antibiotics? Well, I... I don't know. Look, whatever Carlos thinks I did, ain't gonna compare to what I'm gonna do to him if I ever see the son of a bitch. Come on, let's go. Okay, we have to follow the line south. Check the transformers. Make sure they're all good. Okay, I'm following you. I stop you? How'd you end up in the MC? It's a long story. We got a long ride. Okay, I, I was a member of the 10th Mountain, part of a forward unit working with the Northern Alliance. Shit, I didn't know you were in the Army. Why were... You want to hear this or not? Sorry. We were advancing on Mazari Sharif. We got ambushed by a group of Taliban heading the other way. And they were in flatbed trucks, decked out with ZU-23s, modified anti-aircraft guns. Big guns. Yeah, really big fucking guns. Our Humvee exploded, went over a cliff, right into the Hari. You know how hard it is to drown in Afghanistan? It's hard. The place is one giant goddamn desert. Anyway, I was thrown clear, and when I came to, the, the Humvee was upside down in the river. I swam out to see if anyone survived. I, uh, I pulled a body back to shore, and I did that seven more times. And by the, by the time I pulled in Tanner, my Sarge, I was done. And when I came home, I don't know, I, uh, I bought a bike, spent a couple of years on the road, just moving from place to place, and, um... To farewell? You grew up around here, right? Yeah. 
yeah. Okay, so by the time I finally settled down, I got a job at a bike shop run by this by this old guy named Jack. And uh, he ran the club. The, uh, well, the press. That's what we used to call him. And he patched me in himself. Wait, Jack. I remember Boozer talking about it. He was in prison or something. Some bad shit went down, and, and he ended up taking the rap for the club. Sounds like you guys were pretty tight. There had to be one, right? Let's come back in the morning. You can get whatever tools you need, and we'll finish it up then. There will be fewer freaks out. So no hot shower tonight? OK, but I want to show you something first. Well, Ricky, it's been a long day. Come on, you know a lot about the freaks. I just want to show you something you might not know. Come on, we're out here anyway. Shit, OK. Let's go. Can I ask you something? God, like I said before, could I stop you? Why are you still flying colors? I don't know what you mean. I mean, why do you still wear the cuts? You and Boozer, it's, it's not like you're trying to recruit anymore or, or staking out territory. No. A couple of guys I worked with at the plant wore colors on the weekend. I asked them about it once. They said they wore them as a way of saying, fuck you, to... trying to say shit. It's just... Cut. That's who I am. I've done a lot of stupid shit in my life, but joining the MC, well... Let's just say that it's one of the few things that I don't... Re Ricky, what are we doing here? I've seen the Nero death trains before and hordes. I know. Not like this. What the fuck? Watch. I've come out here a few times to see them. They stay in those old machine buildings and they come out every night like someone's ringing a dinner bell, right? When it's morning, they go back inside and what, hibernate? You mean you never went down there to see? Aha. Uh -huh. No. One time I got way too close and a dozen of them started chasing me. It's like poking a hornet's nest. Come on, let's get out of here. It's getting dark. Okay. Okay, anyway, the other day, I, uh, I saw something you won't believe. Really? You want to talk? All right, let's hear it. Wait, let me guess. You saw a Nero helicopter. Wait, uh... How did you know about that? They've been spotted a few times, all over Lost Lake. Shit. Why do you care? It's not like they're here to help us. From the sound of it, they shoot on sight. I don't care. Oh, sounded like you did. Where the hell have you been all day? Nice to see you, too. Yeah, well, Schizo said you and Deacon took off, and I was worried. Addy, I'm tired, okay? Oh, that's rich. Hey, Deacon, thank you. Yeah, well, just let me know when you're ready to tackle that Transformer. I'll be around. Sure. It's bullshit. What is your problem? No, no, what is your problem? I just said I'm tired, that's it. Okay, I'm sorry. Like I said, I, w I was worried. It's not like you to just take off without talking to me. Okay. So that's it?
always in my classroom when, uh, you know, I taught English at Shamal Community College to a... Uh, Bunch of stay-at-home moms and high school dropouts. Yeah, that's a day I'm never anyway, getting. Anyway, uh, we heard all the screaming. Too late for marsh duty. First. Yeah, it's too bad, huh? Schizo. 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 Yeah, speaking of schizo, I wonder what the hell he did all day. <laughs> Hey, Ricky, you there? I'm, uh, I'm gonna be gone for a while. I'm gonna need you to cover for me. Skizzle's gonna wonder why I'm not out on marsh duty or whatever the hell. Hey, Deke. What's up? Boozer's, uh, hell. I don't know. He's, he's depressed or something. Talk to Addy. I think I know a way to cheer him up. So, what are you gonna do? No, uh, I thought I'd maybe head to O'Leary Mountain, get his bike, and bring it back. That's a long way to go on foot. Let's figure something out. Are you, are you gonna cover for me or what? O'Brien, I'm at one of your beacons, the one near Camp Creek. Uh, there's nothing here. Hold on. Uh, okay. A field op should be there any minute. You know the drill. O'Brien out. Yeah, I know the drill. Try not to get my ass shot off while being your goddamn peeping Tom. St. John out. Yeah, so what was that all about? I mean, last time we talked, it sounded like you were pissing your hazmat suit. It's nothing. Like I told you there are people above me who don't want us to know what's going on. I need to too close. I was going to call. Right, you know what? I don't give a shit. All I want from you is information on Sarah. Standing by. For Whitaker, I've got someone working on it. It's... it's going to take time. I guess you have to be patient. Yeah? Well, not like I got a lot of choice here, do I? This research group isn't part of my unit, so I can't track them after this op. I need you to... Place a tracker on their chopper. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Oh, and you want me to spy on the guy wearing the white spacesuit? Yeah, anything else? Yeah, try not to get your ass shot off. Your, uh, com was still open before. Hey, anyone else heard that? I think it's like being a peeping Tom. It's more like opposition research. O'Brien out. No matter what you call it, I'm the one that's out your risk. In my neck. Here they come. I'll see your ten soldiers marching in a row. Oh, Jesus. God. That's right. You always go on about it. Out of here anyway. Oh, here we go. 
Another subject exhibiting the morphology of stage 2 infection. Tendons in the hands and fingers are less constricted, fingernails less claw-like, as if recently chewed. Additionally, the subject is wearing jewelry and clothing less tattered and worn than... Hey, sorry. Couldn't help overhearing. Ah, the gun-toting biology major. Yeah, something like that. So, it's wearing jewelry. What's the significance of that? These things have been out here for two years, scratching and clawing at us and each other. Yeah. Try putting a gold watch on a baboon for two years. Set it loose in the wild and see what happens to it. Okay, okay, I get your point. This watch looks new. Really? So... So, that means this subject has either been taking care of it, or has recently... Recently put it on. Holy shit, I thought they were all... You know... That shit crazy? Yeah, they are, but... Just as some late-stage dementia patients could still have moments of lucidity, victims of stage 2 virus infections seem to retain some level of vestigial memory. Oh shit. No shit. Look at its clothes. They're... Almost clean, right? I mean, not clean, but most freaks are so caked with shit and piss. Memory. No shit. No shit. Look at its clothes. They're... Almost clean, right? I mean, not clean, but most freaks are so caked with shit and piss. Yeah, it's disgusting. Yeah, well, again, put a pair of pants on a baboon for two years. Jesus. You ever wonder why there's so many more freaks in areas where people used to live? I thought about it. Yeah, I guess they do. Yeah, we think there might still be something very deep in their massively deformed heads that remembers what they once were. Jesus. What it means is that some freaks get up in the morning, they shower, they get dressed, they put on their favorite gold watch, they kiss their wife goodbye, and then they head out the door for a fun day of eating us and shitting themselves. Why the hell are these guys wasting their time with this shit? <sighs> Hope you got all that, O'Brien. Okay, now just gotta get the hell out of here. <laughs> O'Brien, are you there? there. O'Brien! Did you see something? Okay, hold on. Yeah, I'm here. I planted your tracking device and I got your data. The researcher, were they male or female? What? What? Why? Jesus, this is taking... Was it a man or a woman? Uh, it was a woman and... No, I didn't catch your name. Okay. I'll be in touch. O'Brien out. Plenty of fuel. 